everything inside me. Through disturbing symbolism, the video in my bed by Disney star Sabrina Carpenter is a blatant celebration of MK Ultra and the sick culture of the occult elite. Sabrina Carpenter is one of the many child stars who grew inside the Disney system, who then launched a solo career that is defined by the debased agenda of the occult elite. Not unlike other ex-Disney stars such as Miley Cyrus, Selena Gomez, and countless others, Sabrina Carpenter had a huge fanbase consisting of children who watched the Disney Channel. Her transition into a solo pop star also caused her fans to transition to a deeper level of disturbing material. Sabrina's career began at age 12, when she played the role of a young rape victim in the 2011 NBC series, Law & Order Special Victims Unit. She was then recruited by Disney to play the role of Maya Hart in the series Girl Meets World, and of Jenny Parker in Adventures in Babysitting, a Disney Channel original movie. Disney also recruited Carpenter for her singing skills. She is signed with the Disney-owned Hollywood Records, alongside other ex-Disney stars Demi Lovato and B. Miller. This pic shows B. Miller, left, and Demi Lovato, right, doing the one-eye sign, meaning that they are owned by the occult elite. Since Carpenter is signed with the same label, you better believe that she has to display the same symbolism. This is the cover art of Carpenter's single, Why, features a clear one-eye sign. The general design is a nod to the splitting of the personality of mind control slaves. On the cover of her last album, one of her eyes is cleverly hidden by a shadow. Beyond the one-eye sign, Carpenter's entire act is infused with the occult elite's agenda. The most obvious proof of this fact is, her video, In My Bed, which clearly portrays the singer as a mind-controlled slave. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you've learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. Judging by the comments on YouTube, most of her young fans interpret the In My Bet as Sabrina Carpenter being random in her room. However, there's nothing random about the video. Each frame is loaded with symbolism that directly relates to the world of MK Ultra. Through this imagery, this cute video ends up telling a disturbing story, one that is told way too often in mass media. Right from the start, viewers are exposed to core concepts in mind control. At the beginning of the video, Sabrina and lying in bed. Then, she begins levitating. The basis of mind control is to induce trauma, which leads to dissociation, which leads to a feeling of lightheadedness and floating. This first scene symbolically describes the beginning of the process of mind control. Sabrina then finds herself inside another room, and dressed differently. She's in a world of dissociation, and everything around her alludes to this fact. This screenshot shows Sabrina's room is filled with symbols relating to mind control. There's a lot going on here, especially when one is familiar with the symbolism of monarch mind control. First, the room is filled with butterflies of all shapes and sizes. Monarch mind control is named after the monarch butterfly due to its metamorphosis from a caterpillar to a cocoon, to a butterfly. MK slaves also go through a period of metamorphosis which turns them into a metaphoric butterfly. A very sad and broken metaphoric butterfly. Above Sabrina's head are several clocks, all displaying a different time. This refers to the complete disorientation in time and space of MK slaves due to trauma and dissociation. On the nightstand next to Sabrina are several telephones, including one that is not hung up, the minds of MK slaves are often represented by telephones. The phone that is disconnected is the persona that is currently triggered. You cannot reach that person right now. Sabrina's outfit is also extremely symbolic. The contrasting black and white pattern on Sabrina's pajama, nails, and boots all emphasize a concept that is extremely important in mind control. 
duality. Using the profound occult and psychological forces behind this ancient concept, duality plays an intricate role in the breakdown and rebuilding of MK's slaves. Sabrina's outfit is strikingly similar to those found in paintings by Kim Noble, a trauma-based mind control survivor. Kim Noble's painting, Waiting Rose, is part of a series that describes her abuse by a handler. The concept of duality is overwhelmingly present in all of these paintings. Therefore, Sabrina's room and outfit symbolically represent the mental state of a dissociated slave. When the camera shows more of Sabrina's room, sexy, the viewers see sexy neon lights. Sabrina's room is filled with toys and teddy bears one could find in the bedroom of a young girl. Although Sabrina Carpenter is actually 20 years old, everything in the video is made to associate her with childhood, which appeals to her fanbase. However, on the right, there are two neon lights of naked women, the kind one might find at a sleazy strip club. The combination of the kitty toys with the adult neons point to one disturbing concept. The sexualization of minors. Through this imagery, the video subtly refers to the violent abuse of children during MK programming to cause trauma and dissociation. It is also a reference to beta kitten programming, the MK programming used to create slaves. Think I'm listening too much into this. Keep listening. Sabrina is surrounded by butterflies, monarch mind control, and cats, beta kitten programming. Also, behind her, are pictures of some kind of evil, demon cat. Or something. Finally, Sabrina's eyes are spiraling to illustrate her mind-controlled state. The lyrics of the song also allude to MK concepts. This is the second verse. Something chemical inside me. Messing with my mind. And I can't help but feel like. I'm feeling like someone else, someone else. Something animal inside me trying to remind me. There's no need to worry about it. And lose myself. Something chemical inside me refers to the drugs given to slaves to facilitate trauma and dissociation. I'm feeling like someone else is the main complaint of someone with multiple personas, the goal of mind control. The goal of mind control. The creation of multiple alter personas. This concept is represented at various points during the video. Then the video takes us to a place we don't really want to go. Multiple Sabrina heads inside a classic hypnotic dualistic spiral. Pure mind control. Even pure mind control. Sabrina finds herself in a straitjacket with her eyes still spinning. She is clearly a slave. She is trapped in a room that is obsessively decorated with pics of her and at various ages, including baby pics. She is under their control since birth. Around her are four older men in suits who are observing her, taking notes, and, at some point, taunting her. These are Sabrina's handlers, those who handle her MK programming. This young girl doing sexy moves around her MK handlers, another reference to beta kitten programming. In short, the video exploits a narrative that is often found in MK-inspired entertainment. The first part of the video, in her symbolic room, represents the place her mind goes after dissociation. The second part represents her actual state, a MK slave being controlled and programmed by MK handlers. The same narrative can be found in movies such as the very disturbing Return to Oz, also made by Disney. In my bed, as a clear and obvious celebration of monarch mind control and the sick culture that surrounds it. There is absolutely no way of fully interpreting this video without addressing the obvious MK elements peppered throughout. I mean, she's literally in a straitjacket with her eyes spinning, while men in suits observe her. How more blatant can you get? Sabrina Carpenter is yet another Disney star whose career was pushed towards the disturbing agenda of the occult elite. This should not be surprising. Disney and Industry Slave Factory, regularly churning out new entertainers with bulletproof contracts that allow little to no creative input. Controlled by a team of handlers and video directors, these stars are forced to act out and sing about the very trauma they and countless others are forced to live through at hands of the occult elite. 
comment below with more topic ideas for me to discuss. As a lot of care and hard work goes into this, likes and subscribe, let me know I'm doing a good job. All is appreciated greatly. You may not agree with everything from the content I post. Apply critical thinking and use discernment to come to your own conclusions regarding the content. Thanks for watching this video. This everything inside me channel, see you on the next video. Stay safe and healthy.